I've seen a lot of talk on the uh, the internet. People having issues getting their Wii Guitar Hero controllers to work with uh, Clone Hero. And in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to easily get your, your Wii controllers up and running and working just fine. You're just going to need a few things, very simple things. Step one thing you're going to need, a Wiimote, doesn't matter which gen, whether it has the uh, pl uh, Motion Plus built in or not. You need a Guitar Hero controller. It doesn't matter which one. Here I got my Les Paul, which is the one I mainly use. I also have the Guitar Hero 5 and the World Tour 1s, which also work. You can also use one of these. Ugh, the Warriors of Rock drum set. Okay. You're also just going to need one piece of software. That's it. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. All you're going to want to do is go onto your Google. You're going to want to search up. Osculator. You know what? You're going to want to search up Osculator. I'll go to their main website. And either go to download. You can either get the latest one, which you uh, paid, which is like a paid thing. I think it's like 12 or $13 American a month. Or you can get their free version. Which is... Uh, anywhere from 10 uh, Mac OS 10.5.8 Snow Leopard to uh, the El Capi 10. Once you download the legacy, you're going to install it as per usual. And you're just going to want to open it. So just search it up on here. And just uh, start a new oscillator thing. I'll start an untitled one. So this one's going to come up. You're going to see this, and it's going to be waiting for input. So this is where, we, where we're going to do the input. Now, to be perfectly honest, this part's probably the hardest part of the whole process. Um, once you get your Wiimote, go to your Bluetooth settings on your computer. Let's see if we can make this window any bigger. Oops. I'll blow up the window in editing. But once you're on Bluetooth, it's going to be, I'll make sure it's at least on. And you're going to see that I have already one of my Wiimotes set up the thing. Now, if you go to just normal sync it, so you're going to do the hold the simultaneously hold one and two on the Wiimote. And it should, because these Wiimotes are Bluetooth, should pick up that you're trying to sync one with the computer. It takes a bit sometimes. It usually depend. It, really just depends on how the controller feels. When you go to connect it the first time, it's going to see passkey enter did not match. If you open up the back, let me just show you here. Open up the back of the Wiimote, there's this red sync button on it. If you open up the back of the Wiimote, there's a red sync button on it. Uh, down here, I'm going to press it. When you hold the sync button down, you're going to see that starts flashing again. You try to connect it once again, you're connected. Press it until this comes up on on uh, on oscillator. You're gonna grab one of your guitar hero controllers or the guitar hero controller you would like to use. This is gonna be the hardest part to show. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Fire the back. Hold on. Jump cut, successful jump cut. So once you have your controller like so, you're gonna see that on the oscillator window, as I press various buttons, they start to appear. And to your strums, your stick, you can even just do the normal Wiimote buttons, uh, wavy bar access, plus and minuses. Now at first, uh, when you go to, you, you can, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set them up all, uh, well, just the guitar ones, which I already have all synced. So I'm just, uh, like that. And I already, you can save your, like, um, your created things. So what you can do, go, oops, go Osculator and select Clone Hero. And then once it, and then this is what you gotta do every time you open it up. So just open it up like I did and then connect your Wiimote just by pressing any button. And as you can see, it should, since it's a different Wiimote than the one I'm normally using, I'd have to reset this whole thing up, so I might fire it back in my other Wiimote. The batteries. 
And what you're going to notice at first is when you go to play a clone hero with, with Osculator once you first get it, nothing's going to work. It's not going to pick up the key combos. Your computer's not going to pick them up because you do a little thing. Go back to your settings. You probably could have done this first, but it just depends on what you find on the internet. Go to accessibility. It's under... Oh, wait, hold on. So open up this again. Find security and privacy. And just go to accessibility. And you're going to want to unlock it. And then press osculator. And that's all you got to do. So I'm going to fire this back in my proper Wiimote. And then we'll show you that this actually works. So we're back. Wiimote plugged in. Um, yeah. Okay. So now we got everything plugged in and ready to go. We'll uh, hop on clone here. I'll just show you that it works. So again, as I press the buttons on here, they'll highlight on thingy, on uh, Osculator. Now there is a bit of a problem. I think it's just because my Les Paul controller is over, is probably 12 years old, I think this year. Um, so it is a bit like, I do have to sometimes unplug the controller, but that's just normal thing. So I have it currently set up because you just set it to keystrokes, key bindings. I currently have it set up. So when you press uh, plus, it's the return button. Uh, green is F1, because that's how I have my clone hero settings. If you go to here. So all you gotta do is bind it how you have your uh, clone hero step bound. And then when you're in it, oh, let's show you this. So it should work 100%. There shouldn't be any issues with it. There might be some like, uh, if you have like a crappy Bluetooth or you have a lot of things connected, let's say like headphones, you got like, or like a speaker, or maybe a, some of this stuff, but a, just something else. Connect to your Bluetooth, you're going to have probably some Bluetooth lag. Um, but for the most part, this system is probably the best system you can use. The only issue is, um, every 20 minutes or so, the Osculator window pops up a thing telling you to buy a, a license key for it. You just close that out after 15 seconds. It does get a bit horrible because the, even if you're in the middle of anything, it can just cut out and you just lose all ability on the controller. So it does, controller 100% works. And see when I press this it goes up and down and left and right and back and forth okay I will just quickly show you I can't really do this one-handed so I'll just quickly show you um uh, after I go into a song let's do shirt nightmare Can we go into a, oops didn't want me to press that one quickly go into a clone hero song and just to show you that this isn't you know, faked out or whatever. As you can see. Don't know why it's lagging so much. So like, that's, a, that's just, I think, a problem with Clone Hero for me. I don't know why, but occasionally I get really horrible frame rates. So yeah, that's, that's essentially it to getting your controller set up. I'm just going to play you guys out, I guess, huh? Get it? I'll just play you guys out. All right, so midway through me recording my outro, look what just decided to pop up. This is what I was talking about. D did you know that you can help support the development of the software? Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna check the rates again. That's it for me. Oh, that's $27 Canadian. So what's that? Um, like a million US? Yeah, it's 19.99 US. Okay, so I was a bit wrong with that. So yeah, that's basically it so yeah take care hope this video helped you